Hello wrestling fans, the wrestling wizard here and welcome to another video. Now before we get into the meat and bones of the video, I've got a question for you. Do you think we will see the Wyatt Six wrestle at this year's SummerSlam? Either the Wyatt Six taking on the Creed Brothers and Chad Gable or maybe a one-on-one -on -one match between Chad Gable and Bo Dallas aka Uncle Howdy. If so, which match would you prefer? We'll get into that in a moment. Or you might be of the opinion that the Wyatt Six actually aren't going to wrestle at this year's SummerSlam. Maybe there's a major angle involved which doesn't actually involve them wrestling. Now, surely at some point we're going to get Bo Dallas versus Chad Gable, the Wyatt Six versus Chad Gable and the Creed Brothers, but it doesn't necessarily have to happen at SummerSlam. Of course, we've seen the epic interviews from Bo Dallas and Eric Rowan, highly emotional and highly entertaining at the same time. I mean, you were crying, but at the same time, you were fully invested in the genius layers of the storytelling. And of course, from this week's episode of Raw, we got a Nikki Cross VHS, which we'll come on to in a moment. So we're still left with Loomis and Gacy, Mercy the Buzzard and Huskus the Pig Boy. So we've still got to wait on those. Maybe they deliver both of these next week on Monday Night Raw in the lead up to SummerSlam. We'll have to wait and see. But that's neither here nor there. The talking point, of course, is are we going to see the Wyatt Six wrestle at this year's SummerSlam? Now, of course, from this week's Monday Night Raw, we've had more storyline progression between the Wyatt Six, specifically Bo Dallas, and, of course, Chad Gable and the Creed Brothers. Now, does anybody feel that it's a little bit random the Creed Brothers being put together with Chad Gable. Not in the sense of they don't work together, they do. I kind of dig the edge that the Creed Brothers have in this heel persona with the suits and all of that alongside Chad Gable. It just fits and they're absolute weapons in the ring on an athletic level like none other. Think about it from a logic standpoint. Why would you join Chad Gable at this stage when Uncle Howdy has literally haunted Chad Gable? The Wyatt Six have literally decimated upon their debut the Raw Locker Room. Like you wouldn't get involved, would you? But the Creed Brothers, fair enough. They've got big balls to get involved in all of this. But I just think a little bit more storytelling in regards to why they've joined Chad Gable. Not just randomly with him. Which makes me feel that they're setting up for Chad Gable and the Creed Brothers versus the male members of the Wyatt Six. And we're going to get that at SummerSlam. I'd personally be invested in that. I'd love to see that. But also, I wouldn't rule off the possibility of it being a singles match between Chad Gable and Bo Dallas, a.k.a. Uncle Howdy. Of course, there's going to be so many questions surrounding Alexa Bliss. Do we see her at SummerSlam? Is she part of the Wyatt Six? Is she part of this storyline capacity? We said in previous storylines that she doesn't fit the Misfits mold. She doesn't fit the criteria, I suppose, if you like, that Uncle Howdy is looking for from his members, from his recruits, if you like. So I'm really, really curious to see how they're going to work Alexa Bliss into the storyline. But at the same time, I'm really, really looking forward to it. Now, there's one major reason why I believe Bo Dallas, a.k.a. Uncle Howdy, in a one-on-one -on -one match or part of the Wyatt Six, should debut in-ring at SummerSlam. Mainly because Bray Wyatt and The Fiend persona both debuted in-ring at SummerSlam. Of course, Bray Wyatt against Kane, and of course, The Fiend against Finn Balor. And it would only be fitting, and a huge tribute for Uncle Howdy to have his in-ring debut at SummerSlam. Like, think how emotional that would be. And even if we see the faction as a whole at SummerSlam as a debut, as an in-ring debut, it'd be memorable. And think about it, if Uncle Howdy or the Wyatt Six are in a match at SummerSlam, just think of the entrance. The entrance is going to be absolutely epic. Do they have a new theme song? The presentation is going to be on another level and that is worth just waiting for the match in itself and talking of the match i think if they go for the family versus family the wyatt six versus chad gable's new family and the Creed brothers i actually think it would deliver big time in the ring remember back to the wyatt family versus the shield that was an absolutely epic match that delivered on so many levels this match can deliver and i'm not saying that uncle howdy versus chad gable wouldn't deliver I just think it would be such a compelling match and really, really deliver. I mean, look at how athletic the Creed brothers are. And Chad Gable's incredible in the ring. Bo Dallas can go at it in the ring. It'd be interesting to see 
Eric Rowan, Joe Gacy and Dexter Loomis and what they can bring to the table as well because Bo can seriously go at it in the ring. I mean, just look at how devastating the sister Abigail was that Uncle Howdy delivered on Chad Gable, by the way. That was brutal, so fluid, and the crowd went nuts. And I'll be honest with you, I sort of shed a little bit of a tear when I watched that the second time over. I was like, oh, like Bray's finishing manoeuvre and Uncle Howdy playing tribute to Bray Wyatt. But more importantly, Taylor Rotunda showing respect to his brother. Like, what a moment. And Chad Gable sold the living daylights out of that, by the way. <laughs> Just watch the cell right there. But I'm genuinely intrigued to see where they go. Now, I've not shied away from the fact that I've been a massive fan of the Wyatt Six since their debut. Now, obviously, I'm going to be a little bit biased because I was a huge fan of Bray Wyatt. But genuinely, on a creative level, they have absolutely killed it. The sit-down documentaries from Bo Dallas and Eric Rowan were just on another level and so emotional. But the one critique I have so far is the Nikki Cross VHS. I wasn't a massive fan. I think it could have been a little bit longer. We only got, what, a minute? And it was pretty much Uncle Howdy just talking to Nikki Cross. Look at yourself. They lied to you, ignored you, whilst you suffered in solitude. I have been the answer all along. And that scream was terrifying. Literally, it will give you nightmares for eternity. It sort of fit the purpose, but at the same time, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of a backstory, a little bit more of an explanation from Nikki Cross herself. However, I do understand, I do appreciate that Abby the Witch, aka Sister Abigail, is a mysterious, eerie character. And you don't necessarily need to have Nikki Cross talking to explain her reasons why she joined the Wyatt Six. And I like that it was a little bit different from the previous two interviews. Bearing in mind the bar that they set themselves was so high from those previous interviews that I feel this one was a little bit underwhelming. What, what do you think? Get down in the comments section, share your thoughts and opinions. Do you think it was enough or do you think we deserved a little bit more? It felt to me like it was a little bit rushed and I just hope they don't rush the Dexter Loomis and Joe Gacy ones if we're going to get those. I just don't want to feel like it's rushed together in time for SummerSlam, but we'll have to wait and see. But what do you think? Get down in the comments section, share your thoughts and opinions. Do you think we'll see the Wyatt Six wrestle at this year's SummerSlam, or do you think they're going to hold off? And you've got to think, heading into bad blood this year, that there's going to be huge plans for the Wyatt Six. And there's a lot of intriguing matchups I'd like to see Uncle Howdy in. That's the beauty of it. The Wyatt Six can cross over and explore so many different storylines and so many different superstars on a faction and individual level as well. So there's all that to look forward to. Of course, Summer Sam's going to be massive. I have got a predictions video coming up this week on the channel. And for the moment, I'd really appreciate it if you could like the video, share the video, and even better, subscribe if you're new. We'll catch you in the next one.